Good morning, St. Stephen Church family. Good morning to all of those who are watching by YouTube. This is another day the Lord has given us to have church. Praise God and let us not forget the church is in your heart. The sanctuary is just where we come together and we form and we structure the body of Christ. God bless you this morning. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come, O oh God, to say thank you, O oh God, for sparing our lives. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a second chance. Thank you for giving us another chance to worship you this morning, O oh God. And, oh God, we bless this message today. Lord, we bless those who are watching. We bless, oh God, the doers and the hearers of your word. In the name of Jesus the Christ. And, oh God, during these unprecedented times, these uncertain times, God, I pray for your people. I pray you give us hope, oh God, everlasting hope. And, oh God, we pray for all that is going on in the world, oh God. Oh God, you know better than I do. Lord, we pray, oh God, for the protesters. We pray, God, for those who are, who are challenging the, the, the system, oh God. And, oh God, we pray, oh God, that you would just give us a new day. Do a new thing, oh God. Do something new, oh God, in the presence of your people so that they will see and realize that you are God and beside you there is no other. In the mighty awesome name of Jesus the Christ, Lord, we pray for the sick and shed-ins all over the world, especially, oh God, in our community and in our church. May the words of my mouth the meditation of my heart, God, be accepted in your sight, O oh Lord, my Redeemer. Amen, amen, amen. Before I read the text, allow me to read a relative passage of Scripture taken from Isaiah 42. Isaiah 42. I want to read verses 8 and 9. I am the Lord, that is my name, and my glory I will not give to another, nor my praise to call images. Behold, the former things have come to pass, and new things I declare, before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Now, if you will, let me read the text taken from Isaiah chapter 43. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 43. And I will read verses 18 through the 21st verse. I'm reading from the New Revised King James Version. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. The beasts of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. Saints of God, Allow me to use for a subject, God will make a way, part two. A few weeks ago, I gave you part one, and this morning I want to give you the finished product. Let me give you a subtopic. Get ready for an overflow, a 
Amen. How many of you are trusting in God and his word? How many of you are standing on God's promises? If God says it, saints of God, I believe it. A few weeks ago, I preached from the subject, God will make a way, part one. This morning, we will receive part two. Thank you, Jesus. Yesterday, God made a way for his chosen people, the Israelites. Today, he is still making a way for his chosen people. Believers, we are God's chosen people. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He will forever make a way for those who have been adopted into his family. Two weeks ago, the focus was on Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. God was speaking to Isaiah on behalf of his chosen people. God commanded the people not to remember the past. Most often, the past will hinder our progress. The past will hinder the future. Amen. He was speaking about the nation of Israel and how they encountered the wilderness experience, how they encountered wild animals and wild beasts. And many of them died out, saints of God, but God took care of them. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But God is making a way today. God commanded them not to think nor dwell on the things of old. And I just stopped by this morning to tell somebody, saints of God, don't worry about the past. Don't think about the past. If you look back, just uh, don't go back. Amen, somebody. The past is a past, and let the past rest. God is getting ready to do a new thing. The text is taken from Isaiah chapter 43, and the focus is on the 19th verse. Allow me to read the 19th verse for us. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isn't God good? God is an awesome God. A wonderful and unheard of things and therefore introduced with a behold as a note of admiration. Now, what new things? What new things, saints of God? First, God would deliver his chosen people from the exile to return to Jerusalem, the fall of Babylon and Israel's restoration, and the restoration of all things. But the ultimate new thing would be the coming of the Messiah, Jesus Christ. He would come and set up his kingdom, and over a period of time, it would be completed, and the Messiah would rule over his kingdom. Whose kingdom? God's kingdom. He will oversee those who are in the body of Christ. Believers, we are in the body of Christ. We are the church. Amen, somebody. The new things would surpass all that God had formerly done. Now it shall spring forth. It shall spring up as the grass does from the earth. Or it shall bud forth like the opening leaves and flowers a beautiful figure denoting the manner in which the event of divine power would come into this play. Saints of God, God has power. He can do all things. He is a right now God. God is right now in this place. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Just as Israel in the wilderness between the Red Sea and Canaan was guided and supplied with water by Jehovah God. But the new deliverance shall be attended with the manifestation 
of God's power and his might and his love to all the world. In other words, uh, God would give them direction and provision in the wilderness where there is commonly no path and where all necessaries are waiting. God would give them manna daily. He would give them bread from heaven. He would give them food to supply their needs. God would even give them water to drink. Can I get a witness, somebody? God is a mighty good God. Yes, he is, saints of God. I don't know how you feel or what you think this morning, but God is a way maker. That's why they call him the way maker. The new thing would be an overflow of blessings. God is the same God yesterday who made a way for his chosen people. And he is making a way today for his chosen people. Believers, we are God's chosen people. Those of you who believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, let me tell you something. You are God's chosen vessel. Thank you, Jesus. Today, we are God's hope for tomorrow. As we continue to go through COVID-19, it seems as if we are stuck down in Egypt. But let me tell you something. God is a mighty good God. Yes, he is. Thank you, Jesus. We are in the midst of sickness. We are in the midst of fear. Just comfort, even pain. We are going through death valley. The entire world is experiencing the effect of COVID-19. Can I get a witness somebody here? Saints of God, I can feel the presence of God in the midst of our troubles. Our God is getting ready to bring us out with a lift up hands. Can I get a witness, somebody? Those of you who are trusting in God, don't give up. Don't give in. Don't give up on God. Thank you, Jesus. We have come too far to turn around now. Let me encourage someone this morning. God is in the midst of your Egypt. Can I get a witness, somebody? He is in the midst of your trouble. He is in the midst of your discomfort. Thank you, Jesus. But our God, your God, is about to do a new thing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The text tells us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The text says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I believe I'm talking to somebody here. Can I get a witness, somebody here? If you know who I'm talking about, you are the wave of your hand. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord will make a way. He made a way yesterday for the Israelites. He brought them out of Egypt. He brought them into the wilderness, across the Red Sea, across the Jordan River. Thank you, Jesus. He made a way for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He made a way for Daniel, trapped down in the lion's den. The Lord made a way for me. The Lord is making a way for you. You ought to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making a way. Can I get a way to somebody? He will supply your needs according to his riches and glory. Don't worry about COVID-19. Don't worry about sickness. Put your trust in God. Let him lead you. We're going to have some souls in life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Get ready for an overflow. Hallelujah. Get ready for an overflow. Get ready for an increase. 
Get ready, get ready, somebody. It's going to be over after a while. And don't look back. Don't worry about COVID-19. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Choir, sing for us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah.